Good morning from Arizona. My name is Bill Southern and uh, today we're hunting nuggets. I'm in a little spot I haven't been to in a long, long time right now. And a lot of saguaro in this area. And yeah, I'm gonna walk about two washers over here and start hunting. And the material here is a lot of volcanic material as you can see. There's my detector. I'm gonna be using the uh, GPX 6000 today. But anyway, we're going to hunt this little wash down here, and there's another wash over the hill up here. I'm going to work on a little bit, see if there's any gold. Kind of an interesting area. There's not a lot of indicators here, but I have found gold here before. And a lot of times, the main indicators will be gone in an area due to erosion over the centuries, and uh, the gold stays here because it's heavy. So it doesn't always have to look like this should be gold, because gold where it goes where it wants to go. And even though most of the uh, metamorphic material that is an indicator here is gone off the top, there's still gold here. So anyway, let's get at it, see if we can't get a piece or two. Now I got a low high signal here. Oftentimes these are trash. And I started out more than one hunt when I first time it being trash. Nuggets generally give you a high low unless they're real deep and big. I don't know what we got here, but. Right on. Well, well, I guess we're not on the bedrock. Anyway. Okay, Let's see if we moved it. No. So, first dig of the day, it's going to be pretty deep. All right, there's the bedrock right there. You can see it. This is bedrock. So I'm guessing we moved it that time. Yeah, we did a little bit. Okay. Be nice to start out the day with a nice chunky nugget. But. Okay, we moved it good, it's right here. Well, I thought that yellow thing right there was gonna be a nugget. It wasn't. That was my ring you heard. I gotta remember to take that thing off. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Come on. I get yelled at all the time about needing a pinpointer, but most cases I don't bother with them. But when I dug that ring a week or so back, I could sure could have used one. Right here is a piece of wire. Yep, or a nail. Looks like a little nail. Nope, it's a stick. Well, now. Okay. That'd be right there. Ah, we caught it. Stubborn little bugger, wasn't it? Rock. 
poking me here. Okay, see what we got. Turn the camera a little this way. In my hand, we're a little closer to the camera here. Hearing it. Well, I don't see a nugget. It was a nail. Looks just like the other piece I had, but it was a stick. Okay, the first track of the day is junk. Uh, see, that quieted down right as soon as I got it away from the camera. Anyway, off we go. Go on our hold. Move on. I still have people giving crap about filling my holes all the time. Guys, I'm telling you, number one, the BLM and other entities do not like seeing people leave holes out here. And if you want to get more ammunition to shut us out of the desert, just go ahead and keep leaving the holes. Otherwise, it's always best to fill them up. You know, the hole wasn't there when you showed up. And if you're that greedy that uh, it's all about the gold and not caring about the desert or anything, I guess I can't help you with that. But myself, I like to uh, try to make it look as much the same as it was before I dug that hole. Well, this time we got a little more of a high-low signal. Oh, there, shut off the headphones. Now you can hear it. Okay, high-low. Hopefully it's not that rock. Pretty much no matter where you go around here, you run into hot rocks. That's just part of the game. Let's see if it's this rock. Might be, it looks like a piece of andesite. Yep, that's what it is. All right. Okay, off we go. Okay, we got a target right here. Not as loud as I'd like. So I don't know. Could be a hot rock. Very well could be that rock right there. Right there. Yeah, I bet you that's the culprit right there. Let's see. Ow. Nope. No, there's definitely a target there, and I definitely got stabbed in the leg here. Ow. Okay. Nope, there's a target. Of course, there's another rock right here, too. Huh. Okay. Let's see if it's not this rock. Oh, that one's a bedrock. Hmm. A bit of digging is going to be required here, I think. Move the detector away so we don't got to listen to the coil here in the pick. All right. This might be our culprit. No. Oh. All right, we have a target. Houston, we have a target. I can't find my scoop. There it is. Now, the bedrock's real shallow right here. Matter of fact, we're on it. I generally try to get a hole at least as big as a coil. Otherwise, you have a heck of a time pinpointing.
All right, let's see where it's at. Where it's at. Right there. Find a place to set this detector in this narrow, narrow wash is tough. Okay, we got it. Let's see what it is we got. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Not gold. What the heck is it? Here should be a piece of lead. Yep, yeah, old piece of lead. Oh, well. I get asked a lot about the difference between pulse induction and VLF and why I listen to the threshold. Um, I like having something as a reference. And having the threshold on on a pulse induction machine gives you the opportunity to hear little bumps or noises that could be a target. And the threshold's a voice of your machine. You can hear it here. Every now and then there's a little jump in it or something. That's uh, the nature of the beast with pulse induction. But you can still hear a target because the target's gonna interrupt that. And it's more like it's playing a, a little tune, if you will. And as soon as the target gets anywhere near, and I'm way over here. And watch how close I am with this pick. I'm barely close at all, but watch. See how nice that sound comes out? And without the threshold, I don't think I can hear targets as well. And you'll get different opinions from all different detectorists and hey, whatever works for you, works for you. You don't have to do it my way. I just uh, showing you how I do it. And I do get a little gold here and there. <laughs> Actually, I found quite a bit of gold in my life. I don't know, I never kept track. I wish I would have, probably blow my own mind with it. But it's getting a lot harder these days. So we still dig all targets. And I love having a threshold on my machine. And the Gold Monster is okay. I love the Gold Monster. It's one of my favorite machines. But I don't like the fact that it doesn't have a threshold. And it really doesn't need one because of the technology that it incorporates. But uh, I still have trouble getting used to that. And I, even on my uh, Coin Relic machines, the Equinox, I run a, a threshold. So anyway, that's just me. And yeah, you can hear different spikes and jumps and it moves around a little bit but that's uh, part of it's hearing what's in the air and electric interference and electromagnetic stuff and whatever else but it sure gives me a reference point and i like it that way so anyway i'm going to get back at it i just dug a piece of wire no gold yet man these old rivets sound good <laughs> rivet out of a pair of jeans no doubt. Last time I found several of those, I ended up with a gold ring not far away. How's that happening twice in the desert are pretty slim though, I'd say. Back at it. Well, this is a definite sign the old timers were in there. Check this out. Part of a plate, I think. Real pretty. Yeah, it was part of a saucer or a plate. Very neat. I'll take those pieces home. I don't see any other pieces of it here. This looks like a good wash. Didn't find anything except trash in the other wash I was in. So we're gonna work our way this, up this one and then loop back to the truck, I think. Cross your fingers, my friends. Here we got somebody's dig hole. You can see it here. There's a target in it. Why they didn't dig that up, I don't know. Maybe they dug a piece of trash and quit. I don't know. But we 
they did a big charge up or they threw it back in the hole. One or the other. No, I don't think they dug this one up. It's up in here. Why would you walk away from a tart crackling? I guess I don't know. Huh. Okay. <laughs> that scared me. I thought I had a nugget laying right on top. I don't know what we got down in here, but somebody didn't think it was worth digging. I never saw a target that I thought was not worth digging. Let's see what they left us. It's down in there pretty good. Maybe they didn't have the right tools, I don't know. Right in here. Oh, I got the head. <laughs> you can't hear it, can you? Here, let me shut these off. Sorry about that. You can hear it. Why they left that screaming target down in that hole, I'll never know. Just couldn't get it out, I guess. This is bedrock I'm breaking up. Oh, sorry about that, that was this. <laughs> That target's definitely still in that crack. So where'd you leave me, my friend that left this hole? Wonder if somebody will recognize this hole. And there it is. A nail, but it's worth digging up. Okay, we got a target right down here. Oh, let me turn off the headphones. This thing's a little noisier with the headphones off, because believe it or not, it hears its own speaker. Come on, shut off. There we go. <clears throat> okay, we got a target right down here. First I thought it was this rock here, but it's not. Sounds like there's something up under this crack. Probably another darn nail, but... I don't know how I'm going to get it out of there. Huh. I wonder if I can break that loose. Hmm. All right, we're going to try to pop that loose. <clears throat> Definitely something in there. I don't know how I'm gonna get it out of there though, guys. Without breaking my pick. Hmm. Oh boy. Um it's gonna be difficult. Here's my pick. It's moving. Uh, definitely something in there. So, hopefully I won't break my pick getting this.
Boy, I don't know, guys. It's moving all the way back to here. I think I might pull that whole piece of rock right there. I don't think it's going to come up. Ooh! <laughs> we call that getting lucky where I come from. Oh. Sorry about the machine being noisy. Just Okay. Okay. It's a big hunk of chunker. Make sure it's not the rock here. Oh, hard to move. Oh, broke my shaft on my detector. Well, look at there, guys. Looks like I'm done for the day. Ah. Oh man, it slipped out of my hands, it snapped right in half while well, I'm getting this target. Uh, boy, hurt my hand too. Definitely a target there. Broken shot. Boy, she's making a racket now. <laughs> Poor thing. Man, I got something jammed in my finger too, pretty bad here. Piece of thorn or something. Ow. Yeah, it's in there pretty deep. Huh. Whatever it is. Hmm. Broke the shaft on my There it is, right there. Ha! Looky right here. It's a nugget at least. Let's have a look at this baby. See that? I can't get the camera too clear. Let me move the broken detector. Hey. There is a gold nugget. Right here. Look at that. He's down in that darn crack. Ha! Oh man, I'm happy, but I'm also pretty sad. It's gonna take me a while to get a new shaft. Oh, maybe I got something at home that'll work. Yeah, it's a nugget. <laughs> it's a nugget. And that is a very broken detector, my friends. Snap that carbon fiber shaft right in half. So, I guess we're kind of done for the day here. Whoop. So I guess if you like these videos, you like watching me break my stuff and find gold. Um, nice little nugget. I guess it's going to go a half gram or so. Like, subscribe, ring that little bell. For now, it's an unhappy nugget shooter with a broken detector out. Well, I guess I'm happy. I got a nugget.